hello friends and welcome back again to the tutorial of embedded system where we are today going to study the categories of embedded system in previous tutorial we have studied that what is an embedded system now we are going to further study categories of embedded system embedded system is divided into different categories where first one is standalone embedded system fine standalone embedded system uh, from the name we can understand that standalone means a standalone embedded system works by itself it is a self-contained device which takes either digital or analog inputs from its input ports calibrates converts and processes the data and outputs the resulting data to its advanced output device which either displays the data or converts uh, controls and drives the attached attached devices entertainment devices such as video game uh, mp3 players digital cameras microwaves are typical system that fall into these category next comes the real time embedded system fine the real time embedded system is that which response time is critical whose response time is critical in other words, we can say that some particular work must be done in a specific time period. In addition to functional correctness, the time constraint must also be satisfied. Uh, there are two types of real-time embedded system. First one is hard real-time embedded system and second is soft real-time embedded system. Fine. In hard real time system, for a hard or immediate real time system, the completion of an operation after its deadline may lead to a critical failure and result in loss of life or property damage. That is, in hard real time embedded system, we can say that the work should be completed in given time interval. After, after the time is up, if the work is completed, then it fails or damage occurs we can say that the response time deadline for such system is very critical that is in milliseconds or even more shorter we can consider an example missing a deadline in a missile control embedded system or carbon oxygen monitoring embedded system will lead to catastrophe or disaster these systems usually interact directly with physical hardware instead of through a human being. You can even find that hard real-time system in your daily life. For example, a car airbag control system is a hard real-time system because a delay reaction may cost a driver his life and a delay response in pacemaker will also lead a severe result. Like pacemaker, it is fitted in one's one person's heart if the pacemaker does not respond is in time may be possible that the person having pacemaker in his heart may lose his life or may get life risk so it is an example a sh simple example of hard real time system because uh, within a strict deadline and missing a deadline will constrain failure of a system. So the hardware and software of hard real time system must allow a worst case execution that is WCET analysis that guarantees the execution to be completed within a strict deadline. The chip selection and auto selection becomes an important factor for hard real time system design. Next is the soft real time system uh, in some other embedded systems uh, there is a response deadline that uh, but late less uh, can be tolerated in some degrees the violation of time constraint will result in degraded quantity or quality but the system can continue to operate microwave and washing machines fall out this subcategory Although there is a response time deadline for any operation, the allowed latency delay may be seconds rather than milliseconds. In soft real time systems, the design focus is to offer a guaranteed bandwidth to each real time task to distribute the resources 
of the task. Actually, many real-time systems have both hard and soft events mixed. The hardware resource CPU time and software resource high priority interrupts should be allocated to these processes handling hard real-time system. Now we are done with the type second type real-time embedded system. Then next comes the networked embedded system. Um, mostly the programming type or a microwave and washing machines these type of examples lie only in real-time embedded system but now we are going to see network embedded system the network embedded systems connect to a network with network interfa interfaces to access resources the connected network may be local area network or wide area network or the internet the connection can be wired or wireless you can simply uh, group the networked embedded system into wired and wireless subcategories but in many systems these two type systems are merged together the home security system is an example of lan network embedded system where all sensors example motor detectors press sensors light sensors or smoke sensors are wired and running on tcp ip protocol a home security system can be integrated into a web based security system with an additional web camera running on http protocol the networked embedded system is the fastest growing area in embedded systems application the embedded web server is such a system where all embedded devices are connected to a web server and can be accessed and controlled by any web browser although all embedded systems are classified into these three major categories the division is not absolute a subsystem of a network embedded system can be real time or not real time a real time system can be stand alone or network uh, most important uh, issues are the difference in characteristics and features among these uh, different uh, type systems. So uh, we can take that into account in embedded systems design and implementation. The embedded system can also be classified into scale categories. For example, small scale embedded system uh, supported by a single 6 to uh, 8 to 16 bit microprocessor or microcontroller with on chip RAM and ROM is designed to perform simple tasks. Next is medium scale embedded system supported by 16 to 32 bit microprocessor or microcontroller with external RAM and ROM can perform more complex operations. And third is the large scale networked embedded system that is supported by 32 bit or 64 bit multiple chips that can conduct distributed jobs this is what the categories of embedded system uh, another tutorial uh, will be uploaded in few days which is about uh, the further topics covered in embedded system thank you for today bye have a nice day